Welcome to another episode of Sycamore Junior High video announcements. Today is Wednesday, September 29th, and I am Chuck. And I'm Lily. If you would now please join us as we stand, place our hand over our hearts, and honor our great country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for joining us, and you may now be seated. Okay, before we get to our main announcements, we have some very important and exciting news. Don't forget our, our Junior High Flight Fest online silent auction opens this Friday, October 1st at 3 p.m. There are going to be so ma many awesome auction items, and we hope you will hope everyone is able to bid. Also, the race registration is open now. Go to www.aviatorflightfest.com. Display right now. You can register the 2K, 5K, and 10K race on October 16th. This is so important to support our school activities and a great way to socialize with our students and Sycamore families. Also, Spirit Week is finalized. Monday is Pajama Day. Tuesday will be a mismatched day. Wednesday will be favorite sport or sports team. And Thursday will be Sycamore Spirit Wear. No school Friday. Woo! Don't forget, this Friday, October 1st, is also our Sycamore High School's homecoming football game. There will be a parade going through our community starting at 5 p.m. Please join us in supporting our Sycamore community by coming to the parade and game. Who knows, maybe there will be some candy as well. Since, there, since we're talking about football, support our Cincinnati home team this Thursday, September 30th. The Cincinnati Bengals will be playing the Thursday night game versus Jacksonville Jaguars even if you don't wear if you don't have an official Bengals gear feel free to wear orange black and white go <laughs> Bengals okay did you know that a scientific team in Massachusetts declared the world's hardest tongue twister to be pad kid poured curd cold cold uh, try and say that ten times fast Okay, pad kid poured curd pulled cold. Pad kid poured curd pulled. Wait, no, I I yeah I can't even do it. <laughs> I told you it was hard. Yeah, you were right. Try try this out later tonight and see if you can say it. pad kid poured curd pulled cold. And now for a special happy birthday shout out to Clara A, Caitlin M, Farzana S, and Alexander S. Have an awesome birthday. Next up, Mr. Harris with the school clubs and activity announcements. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily announcements. First of all, we got a new club starting up. That would be Partners Club. Partners Club is an after-school group that provides an opportunity for students with disabilities to build friendships with their peers. Partners Club members will particip participate in leisure and recreation activities such as arts and crafts, games, and more. Partners Club will meet on a month meets monthly on the second Tuesday of the month from 3.04 to 4 o'clock in the cafeteria. Transportation will not be provided, so students need to be picked up promptly at the front of the junior high at 4 o'clock. Snacks will be provided, but you must sign up to attend. The registration form is available in the Google Classroom and is due by October 8th. The Partners Club Google Classroom code is 3IN23ZU. It's right there. You can see it right there. All right, swimming and diving, your meeting is going to be next Wednesday, the 6th, at 3.15 in the cafeteria. Remember, this meeting only lasts about 30 minutes. Math Club, if you're interested in participating in Math Club, you're going to meet after school today in room 137 until 4 o'clock. If you have questions, see Mr. Miles. Yearbook Club, you're also going to meet after school today until 4 o'clock in room 246. That's Mrs. Spielman's art room. Make sure you have a ride home. And if you miss the meeting, there will be a video posted in the Yearbook Club Google Classroom. International Club, you're going to meet on Friday, October 1st in the Media Center from 315 to 415. 
If you're interested, please join the Google Classroom. That's N3N4IOM, right here, for the club calendar survey and details for the meeting. Come show your support for our Sycamore Junior High football teams while raising an awareness for childhood cancer. Thursday's games, that's tomorrow's games, will be dedicated to raising awareness for childhood cancer and honoring seven-year-old Super Sarah, who is battling leukemia. We will have a superhero theme in her honor and will be selling baked goods to help raise funds. So see everybody this Thursday. Seventh grade game starts at 4.30, eighth grade game at 5.45. Go Aves! That is all of my announcements. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. And now, an important announcement from Mr. Lavercombe. All right, after four days of monitoring the hallway congestion, traffic, and pace of class changes, the administrative team, as well as building leadership, have decided on the following changes that we will begin tomorrow, September 30th. Again, tomorrow, September 30th. First things first, continue to walk on the right side of the hallway and on the right of the red lines, just like you would driving a car. This is not a change, and please continue to do this to maintain order. When moving through doorways and thresholds, when we have fire doors or you go from one hallway to another, please go through those doorways, single file as possible, and no more than three people wide. Those are narrow, and this is to avoid congestion and traffic jams, most specifically the doorway uh, outside of Mr. Wolkoff and Mr. Reese and the one right underneath it outside of Mrs. Morris' office. Those are very narrow. Okay, number three, class changes. This is big. Starting tomorrow, the time in between class change will now be six minutes long and a newly redesigned bell schedule will begin tomorrow. Again, this is tomorrow. 7th graders will be dismissed when the bell rings, and 8th graders will be dismissed after 2 minutes have passed. This staggered start will help with traffic in the hallways and congestion in tight areas. 8th graders who were here last year, it's very similar to last year. Again, tomorrow, all hallways will be two ways once again. We appreciate your patience in this process and learning different routes to class. We encourage you to still use these routes, in order to help with the congestion. If you have found a route that you like and it gets you away from some of the traffic, we encourage you to use that. However, tomorrow, all hallways are now two ways to alleviate those students who had to go a long distance. The stairwell in the foyer outside of art and outside the main office will once again be open. And again, while in the hallway, maintain order patience and understanding of your peers. No shoving, keep your hands to yourself. Whenever we have students put their hands on other students, that's when problems happen. If you keep your hands to yourself, there's no problems. If these policies cannot be followed, then we may need to reinstate the one-way hallway and revisit this. So it's on you guys to be responsible and be respectful in the hallways to see if this can work. We appreciate your patience. Again, we've worked on it, we've looked at it, and this all starts tomorrow, September 30th. Thanks, everybody. We hope you all spread the word about our Flight Fest and auction, which is opening this Friday. Trust me, it's a blast. Enjoy the beautiful weather and have, some awesome, have an awesome Wednesday. Congratulations to the boys and girls soccer team and the 7th and 8th grade gold volleyball team who all won their games yesterday. Go, Go Aves! Aves!